Hello and welcome to today's video. We'll be discussing some helpful tips for your next Intel CPU upgrade or a fresh PC build. Before getting into the details, let's take a step back and understand how the CPU can affect your experience, be it for gaming, productivity, or a combination of both. Essentially, the power level of a CPU comes down to the number of cores and the speed at which they run. Of course, it's far more complicated than that, but this is a good basic concept to start with, and it'll add up once we look at the specific details of the CPUs that we'll be discussing today. You're likely familiar with the i5, i7, and i9 brands, but the truth is that these are simply brands, and when considering different generations of CPUs, they no longer depict which is faster than the other. For example, a 14th gen i5 is actually faster than an 11th gen Core i9. This is a bit of an extreme example, but it goes to show that we should probably focus on the actual specs of the processor in order to understand the level of performance that it can give us. With that being said, all the CPUs I'll be looking at today are 14th gen, as this is the latest option from Intel. In this comparison, we'll be considering a few factors such as the number of cores, the CPU speed, and the price, as these will most likely have the biggest influence on your final choice. So let's start with the 14900K. It's naturally the fastest, running on 24 cores in total with 8 performance cores and 16 efficiency cores, boasting a boost frequency of 6 GHz. It's the most expensive, priced at just under 500 US dollars, and tends to run hot, often reaching 90 degrees Celsius under full load. For a pure gaming PC, this is considered overkill in my opinion. For productivity work, however, such as rendering or running CPU intensive tasks, the Core i9 starts to make more sense. Realistically, a chip of this magnitude is best paired with a high end Z790 board, which will provide it with enough power to boost up to that 6 GHz. And a 360mm AIO cooler is also essential to keep the temperatures in check. Putting all these factors together will quickly ramp up the price tag. You're looking at around $1000 for a CPU, motherboard and AIO alone. Now let's move over to the 14700K, the best all-round option if you ask me. It has 4 less efficiency cores than the i9 and runs a bit slower at 5.6GHz. With a price tag of 360 US dollars, this is the chip to beat in terms of price to performance. It also runs cooler than the i9, and with added cooling, you can probably overclock it slightly to squeeze out a bit more performance from it. It's plenty enough for gaming and streaming, and will put out solid performance for productivity work as well. This too is best paired with a Z790 board, but I wouldn't go extreme. To keep things in perspective, the prices of a Z790 board can range anywhere from 150 US dollars to upwards of 600. This is usually dependent on a few factors, such as the power phases available on the board, the M.2 slots, the I.O., and many more small details. But let's not get into that right now. And finally, we have the i5 available in three different options, the 14400, 14500, and the 14600K. So the 14400 runs on 10 cores, 6 performance and 4 efficiency at 4.7 GHz, while the 14500 and 600K get 4 additional efficiency cores to bring them up to 8. The 14600K specifically is the fastest out of the bunch, running at 5.3 GHz, with good headroom to overclock since these chips run much cooler than their bigger brothers. However, to fully benefit from it, it too needs to be paired with a Z series motherboard and a beefy cooler due to it being an unlocked processor. So when you consider the savings by dropping to a non-K version and pair it with a B670 or an H610 board, you can save a lot of money. The i5 series are arguably the best option for a pure gaming setup without spending big amounts of money, especially when considering the influence that a GPU has when compared to a CPU in modern games. And so in conclusion, if you're aiming for a pure gaming setup, then the i5 is arguably your best choice, with solid performance and lower demands overall. The Core i7 would be the balanced option for a high-end build, offering plenty of performance for gaming, streaming, and productivity, especially when considering the price tag. And if you're diving into heavy workloads or simply want the absolute best of the best, then the Core i9 is there for the enthusiasts. Thank you for tuning in, I hope you found this video helpful, and hopefully next time we'll dive into the GPUs to help you make the correct choice there as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.